I decided to pull my jelly plate out and um, do some backgrounds and uh, I haven't touched this thing in months and I pulled it out and I don't know if you can see this but it's got this film on it you see and those spots and not just and I, I can't clean it off I keep rubbing on it and it comes out a little bit and turns black my biggest concern is the spots have a different texture to them and they're slightly indented so I don't know what could have caused that I know people just like really abuse these things and they come out just fine see I don't, I don't know if you could see that but these holes I call them holes because they're they're actually dents uh, if you see right there, this, I can feel the edge of it. So it's going to make a mark on my print. Now one side is worse than the rest, than the other side. This side looks terrible. And this side, it's not so bad, but the holes are there. So I don't know what could have cost this. And it's really freaking me out because I cannot afford to buy a new one. This was a gift, actually, from a viewer. And I treasured it like gold and I cleaned it, I cleaned it good and, and, and uh, stored it the way you're supposed to store it. Back in the box. So I don't know, I, I, I just, I don't understand what happened. And it's, it's, ooh, I'm upset now. I'm gonna try to make some prints and see what's going on um just gonna make something light let's start off with some purple forget don't open the bottle on top of the jelly print because you're gonna get those crusty things okay this is some lavender and it's light lavender by folk art and let's see what else we'll put some uh, a little bit of blue this is cobalt blue i'm just gonna put very little of this and yellow and lavender mix yuck so i'm just gonna do that for now and let's see what happens now I clean my brayer off really well but I got a feeling those spots are going to print and I was wondering if any of you that normally play with their jelly plates have had this problem before I looked at I looked up all the the videos online and I can, I can feel the dents with my hand I just hope they don't print up I just I don't understand what I did to cause that to happen Yep, and there they are. There are the holes. Then I have these lines. Where do those lines come from? Oh boy. My plate is ruined, but I don't understand what I did. What did I do to ruin it? Okay. Um, I'm going to try something else. I'm just going to keep playing with it. Maybe it'll work itself out. I don't know. But I think my jelly plate's ruined. That's something, huh?
And it's not the cheap kind of jelly plate, it's the, it's the good one. I'm gonna put some of this green. Let me see, where's my other green? It's lime, limey green on here. I'm not gonna try doing any designs or anything. Come on. Come down. Okay. Okay, the lines might be coming from the brayer. Now that I see. Let's smooth that out. Maybe I need a new brayer. The brayer I can deal with. The jelly, no. And this is my 8x10 jelly, which is the perfect size. Well, it is a little lumpy because my table is, uh, I have papers, like, there's, there's a lump right here. It's probably something under here. Yeah, there's something on the table, but that's okay. I don't want those holes coming up. Let's see. Okay, this one looks better, but I still see the spots. It's like, man, that's just not right. And this is the good side, see? I can feel the indention of it. I could see maybe if I had put it on top of something that was lumpy, but I didn't. Let me try this side. This side looks worse. Okay, let's see. We're going to do some... I'm trying to do some... Some art papers for my vintage. I'm all, like, into this vintage thing now. This That's a flesh tone, actually. And this is going to be pink. Just doing solid prints right now, just to see what's going on. I was thinking about calling Chelsea up and see what she's, because to me she's like the most expert on this. I soaked it in water. Soaked it in the in the in the sink with some warm water and dish soap. I sprayed it with alcohol while it was still wet and wiped it down. And some of that haziness came up a little bit and then it turned my paper towel black. Okay, the lines are definitely made by the brayer. I need a better brayer. The last time I used this was to do the um, the magazine prints. The what do you call those? The um, transfers, and they came out really cool. Okay, this is the icky side. Yeah, I see, I see the spots. 
They're printing. The spots are printing. Oh man. And you can see here, you can probably see them much better now. I don't know what to do. Can I heat it up? Can I re-melt it? I know, I know you can do that with the homemade ones, but I don't know about a real jelly uh, plate from the manufacturer. Let's see. How about... I'm going to keep printing on it and... Maybe the, the act of printing might help. I don't know. That would be funny. I haven't done anything weird with it. I haven't tried anything caustic on it. Why would it do that? Okay. Let's see. I'm going to put some of this turquoise down. Yeah, I can see the, the bubbles, the, the holes peeking through. So is my jelly print ruined or what? I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm disgusted. Cause I, I can't, I, I just, I cannot just go and, and buy a new one. <clears throat> I had so much fun with this thing. Okay, let me see. I'm looking for something to make a mark. Ah, here we go. A doily. This is two doilies in here. I'll pull one out. Okay, that's better. I should probably use a wet wipe to pick up some of the. There we go. I've been watching a lot of jelly print videos just haven't really played with it that much lately wish I had taken it out before so whatever it's doing that to it oh I'm just I'm sick and then there there's people that don't even bother cleaning these things and mine gets ruined even after I clean it and everything it's just it's not right it's upset. okay I'm gonna use this uh, foam stamp done anything bad to my jelly that I know of and I had I had stored it with the plastic that it came with and put it back in his box So I don't know. I'll let that dry a little bit. And find some other mark making tools. Ha! Huh. Can you see this? Maybe. This is the paper I just printed.
Now all my jelly plants are going to have these round holes in it. Maybe if I call the company up and see what's up with that. I don't know. All right, I'm going to let this dry a little bit. I'm going to put some gold or I had this really pretty green that I was using. That's not it. I don't know what I did with it. Dag nabbit. Ah, here it is. Yeah, I have this. Oh, it's a faded jade. Kind of looks like celadon green, maybe. Okay, let's sort of put a little bit of that. It's been in my bedroom this whole time. It's not like it's been in, in a shed somewhere with there's heat. Maybe I had, maybe I put something on top of it. Oh, this is awful. Just awful. Disgusted. I was so excited when I got my jelly. I love this thing. I don't know what it is, but I call it a sprocket. It's a sprocket, a rubber sprocket. I think it's one of those things that uh, they put in the baby carriages because I found it in a parking lot at work on my way home. And there it was looking at me. I was like, oh, I can use that. Make some cool marks. Okay. And this I'm going to put here. And then I have this. This is a register thing that goes in the register paper. And I'm going to put these on each of my sprockets. Yes, mother. Oh, okay. It's my mom sneaking in here. She had lost her social security card. She's freaking out. That woman cannot lose anything or she will not stop looking for it. So she found it. Oh, okay. I like that. I'm going to put that on top of this limey green, <coughs> this green gold looking paper. And let's see what happens. I'm upset. Maybe there's, there's some kind of way I can get the, get it to plump back up. You know, the, the film that's on it, it's not a big deal probably just residue from paint but those holes and yeah, that's just uh, that's upsetting okay let me see I need to put this back in the here we go all right let's see how this comes up ah I like that subtle but it's a good background so Let's see, while well, I've still got a lot of turquoise left on here, I'm going to put some gold. Let's see, gold. Gold. I 
I really enjoy the, the jelly plate mostly for doing background papers for collaging than I do for actual um, designing on it. I'm just going to put this in the back of the jelly plate. All right. Jelly fruit. And I got the gold. And what else can I put? That's, that's it. I'll put in a new paper. Maybe if I massage it. I'm gonna have to write the company. I've never seen this problem. And I looked up on on YouTube. Ah. I still see the spots. I don't know if you, if you can tell there's a ring there. This one here. It's just mm. Not happy with this. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to try a brown. This is some raw sienna, and with that on top, should come out really cool. But maybe I had some um, copper. I do, but it's in the golden, golden stuff. Yellow citron, citron. This like that's a pretty one too. Let's see. I'll put a little bit of this. This folk art paint is a lot thicker than any of the other craft paints a little bit better quality than the other ones. I don't want to put this color everywhere, just some spots. Yeah, the paint tends to gravitate to those holes. I mean, the jelly plate's still useful, but dang it. All right, let's see, what can I put on top? Oh, I got this one. This is really cool, the stamp. It was, um, I got this at Hobby Lobby on clearance, and it was a stamp in the in the wearables department which is where the t-shirts are and the fabric paints so it's put out as a fabric stamp which really it could be a stamp is a stamp is a stamp it's actually a block of wood the print that comes out of it is not as as crisp as a rubber stamp. See? But I like it. I like the subtleness of it. Okay. I'll let that dry a little bit. And I have a dark brown. I was going to do a dark brown on top of that. Here we go. Oh, this is medium gray. That's something else colors that came with a kit that I never used. I should, really should step out of my comfort zone and go with this medium gray. Let's see what it does. Of course, gray is a cool color. and I have cool colors, but that's a warm green. Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna put this gray on here. Why not? Let's see what happens. Let's see. I'm 
I got my plate all wonky again. All right, clean sheet of paper. Let's see what it does. needs to rub in there a little bit more pick up that dry paint that was on there around the edges work it with my finger come on pretty plate be sweet and get fixed up by itself oh look at that see look right there I can see the, the holes. There's one right there. Interesting with the gray. Still think I should go with the brown. Here's a, a raw sienna brown, which is a light yellowy brown. Let's try that. This is horrible. Ugh. You think maybe if I if I call the jelly plate people, they'll send me a new one <laughs> to replace it? Can I put it in a pot and boil it and get it nice and hot so it reshapes itself? Can I put it in the oven? let it melt and come back to shape I don't know all right let's see what uh, I'm gonna try this one since this is like a skin tone with the brown and I got some green underneath Maybe I had something sitting on top of this. But you would think somebody would have warned me about that. And I've watched so many jelly plate videos. The only warning I ever received was when uh, uh, Chelsea was warning about picking things up with a blade or anything that you might cut the jelly plate and it would be permanently on there. So I've never put a blade near this thing. that look okay I think what I'm gonna do it's some um, I'm going to do some fashion prints and I, I did something really cool last time let me see <clears throat> I had made, uh, I didn't make a video, but I had printed out several, uh, let's see, where is it? Several prints with the, with the magazine transfer. And the other day I decided to just tear them all up and, and put them together in a collage. So that, that looks pretty cool. I like that. Yeah. What y'all think? I like to do another one. 
think another one would be cool. Okay, so let's see. I looked through a magazine. It's Katy Perry, which used to have dark hair. Needs to be <clears throat> a print with a lot of contrast. I don't think that red would come out very good. Let's try a red. Oh, I like these. Okay, let's see how this comes out. What you do first is use black. Yes, black. Put black all over. I'll probably put too much black. Yeah, it's too much. Still see, I can see those little holes. Okay, when doing this, you have to, it has to be a thin coat. Thin coat of paint. Still might have too much in there. I need a better brayer. Oh, I just need a whole new setup. Dagnab it. All right, so I'm going to do these girls. Uh, let's see how that is. Brayer the back of it. Make sure it's, <clears throat> it's well in there. Been a while since I've done these. Ha! Ah, I like it. Oh, that came out good. Yes, it did. Came out lovely. I like what it does to the page too. Okay, so what color should I put on here? Hmm. I got those bright colors over there, but I found this so dark. This is like a golden ochre. Let's try some natural colors. Or oh, maybe the skin tone. Right, you gotta wait for this to dry a little bit. Maybe if I just heat it up with a with a heat gun. I could try that. Let's see what happens. All right, my paint is pretty much dry now. I'm gonna try the skin tones. put too much paint on it again Let's 
see those lines. Those lines. I don't like those lines. Why is it making these lines? Maybe it's got build up of paint on the edges. Okay, stop with the lines. There. It's as good as I'm gonna get it right now. Alright, clean paper. Ah, I'm going there. Clean paper. And this is just copy paper that I bought at Walmart, by the way. So. It works pretty good. It's the standard. Standard. There's a standard and there's a basic. And one's cheaper than the other. And that's the Walmart paper. And I bought the one that the, the little bit more expensive one. I figured it's better quality paper, which is this one. And it's so far, I've, I've done a lot of stuff with it, and I like it. I tea stain it. Um, let me see. I should. <clears throat> see, Georgia Pacific Standard multi-purpose paper from Walmart. Bungee break. Oh, this thing right here. Yeah, I remember you had to like make sure it was stuck on here. Okay. Yes. I like that. That that looks fabulous, darling. Fabulous. Just fabulous. So chic. Okay, let's do another picture. Ooh, I can't wait. Do some more pictures. Um let's see another picture, another picture. Who's that? Oh, a Spanish singer. I like this picture of Lady Gaga, and she is perfect to cut out. I used to not uh, do anybody, like, cut out anybody on in magazines that was famous, because I didn't want to, you know, because of, this is cute copyrights and all that and, and now it's like I really don't care nope don't care I'll do what I want ah Katy Perry that's a good picture of Katy Perry and she's all in purple yeah so I'm gonna have to get that color let's see do I have that color kind of a burgundy purple yeah but first black and this time I'm not going to put as much. Just a little bit. It's a little bit of black. Where's my brayer? Okay. And I'm sorry for the shaking. Um, I have my phone. My phone's recording this. And it's, uh, I made a little, little bracket to hold it onto the arm of my lamp that's over my desk. Ah, dang it. No. All right, I think that's the perfect consistency. And I'm gonna make sure to put the edge of this side here. Oh, that's when she was married to Russell Brand. He's so ugly. <laughs> and she's so pretty. Oh, 
was she thinking? Something didn't work out. I don't really pay attention to celebrity gossip, so if, if they ever did say why they they broke up so quickly after they got married, I have no clue. Okay. Make sure is well in there. can't leave it on there too long. You can't take it out too soon. It has to be the right time. Let's see what we got. Uh, I need a little more. Let's see. I have... Let me get this. A little squeegee. And this is by Momenta, which is in the paper crafting stuff is and I got this one at Hobby Lobby too for on clearance. I work there so I get I get most of my art supplies from Hobby Lobby. Now I do go to Michaels when they have really good deals with their coupons and I buy um over there I buy golden paints because we don't sell golden paints at Hobby Lobby. But those are my precious and I just buy them and collect them hardly ever use them. This is not coming up to good. Dag nab it. Let me see if her face came out. Nope. Oh. Let's see. Her face is right here. Come on, Katie. Sometimes these don't come out great. Sometimes they come out great. Nope. I'm going to pull a print off of it anyway because I could use it as background noise. I need my drink. And I said I was going to do that one in a burgundy purplish color like Wildberry. Yeah. This is a good color. Oh, I forgot to let it dry, but I think it was pretty dry. I'm not too worried about this one. Like I said, it's gonna be it's gonna be background noise. And here's the paper. I'll let this one absorb in there. My paint is drying really fast. It's probably because it is so hot today. <sighs> July weather. Today is the last day of July, I believe. The 30th. August is the worst month around here. I'm in South Louisiana about an hour away from New Orleans. New Orleans is east to me, northeast actually. I'm even further south than New Orleans. And um, it's hot, but not quite as hot as Texas has been. Oh, they're having some serious problems over there. All right, there's my Katie girl. Not too good, but it's gonna make some good background noise all right so um I don't, i'm not gonna let this uh video go on forever and perhaps next time you see me playing with these jelly prints i'm probably gonna do another collage i think it's gonna be cool i might even put this i like the way this one came out this is the actual picture just kind of funky Let's do a little funky collage all right, thanks guys. Um, please, if anybody has any suggestions about what can I do with my jelly to get those holes out, be great. Love you guys. Bye-bye.